So, you want to take your body from a skinny fruit boy bitch to a man of the mountain. Or a woman. Woman can live in the mountains. In my opinion, you don't need weights to be strong. I may not look very strong, but it's the unassuming strength that is the most powerful. People come up to you, they're like, give me your lunch money, bitch. And then I hold them up. You kiss your mother with that mouth? That's the kind of strength calisthenics will bring you. So today is push day slash leg raise day. And I'm gonna show you a little what I do in a day. So I follow the convict conditioning protocol. I'm not a criminal. I did steal a flute once and I did some time. I did some hard time. I made a video about it if you want to check that out. But for the most part, I'm a good boy. So today is push day slash leg raise day for the abs. And I'm progressing up the stages really fast in the push-ups. That's just like my genetic strength maybe. I don't know why, but I'm on stage seven of the push series. There's 10 steps in total. I've completed the first six and I'm on to the uneven push-up with this bad boy. So here's what you do. You get a basketball or a soccer ball. I like the soccer ball. Feels nice. So basically you get into the same position you would as a regular push-up, only one of your hand is on the balls. So you're using more strength from the arm that isn't holding the ball. And that's how you're working your way up towards the one-armed push-up. But you gotta start slow. So this is a really tough stage because stage six, the one before this was the diamond push-up. And basically your goal is two sets of 20. But now your goal is also two sets of 20, but it's for each arm. So you end up doing, instead of 40 push-ups in a day, you do 80. Cause you're doubling the arms, you're switching the ball, and that's just one set. But I shocked myself today. I'm not sure if it's because of my one meal a day diet. The hormones just flooding my body like a teenage woman. It could be that. Or it could be that I added the potassium and salt combination to my water so my electrolytes are firing on all cylinders and I have more energy, could be that. Courtesy of the snake diet, there's no link. You watch my videos, then you go search for that guy. But my first set, I got it. The goal is 20 on each arm, and I did it. I did it, I'm there, I'm there. I was so confident going into my second set that I was like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna beat this in one day. Usually it takes you a couple weeks to move through a stage. So here we are on the second set on my left arm and I got it. I got 20, that's the goal. But little did I know that I was about to fatigue hard. <laughs> it's tough because although this is a one-armed focused movement, you're still using your other arm. And I tell you, that arm on the basketball starts getting really tired because as you extend to the top of your movement, the arm on the ball is still bent and you're putting a lot of weight on your triceps. And I was just like, that was starting to burn. So my next, my last set on the right arm, I got 17 and I think I failed at 18. I was like, come on, I wanna complete this in one day. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So I waited a few seconds and then completed the last couple reps, but I'm not complete that. So I need to get it all in one go. We'll see how I do next week. But you always wanna start with your weakest arm. I thought the left was my weakest, but maybe my right is weaker. I'm right-handed, but my left is so powerful. I don't even know what it does. Actually, I do know, oh my God. So those are no joke. That's almost 80 push-ups in one day. And I won't do those again for another week now. I should be fully recovered. For the leg raises, I'm on stage five. Although I will admit, the frog leg raises, I was messing those up big time. I didn't realize that I wasn't going down very far. 
It's a weird movement. It's like you lower your legs flat and then you bend them to lift them up. But I was doing some weird shit and I wasn't going all the way down. So I kind of sissied my way through that stage. I don't like them. And I moved to the straight leg raises. So the goal on these is two sets of 20. And my first set, I managed to get myself 11. I'm pretty proud of that. I did it slow. I did it in control. I went as far down as I could. Your heels are not supposed to touch the ground, but just before that. So you gotta use some intuition. Don't let those heels touch, because that gives you a little break. Then it springs you back up. You springer cheating bitch. My second set, I was also able to get 11. So that's about all I can do right now. Unless I miscounted, sometimes I lose count. But that should improve a lot next week. I feel it, I feel it. I might even get, I might even beat it. No guarantees. So all these workouts are fasted. I usually wake up, I drink a bit of water. Now adding the potassium and salt. So a little bit of salt water. And that's it, I move my bowels on command every morning, it's great. Have a sh no, I don't have a shower. I work out, I do mind power exercises first, then I work out, maybe 10 a.m. ish. Wake up around seven. Growth hormones circulating in my blood because of the fasting increased 2000%. So I feel strong in the morning. You do not need to eat before your workout. You, need, you may need to adapt a little bit, take some time to get used to it, but once you adapt, your body starts using fat for fuel and your liver glycogen and you're fine, you're good to go. And I do not eat right away after my workout. There are benefits to just chilling. I don't really, I have to research it more so I ain't gonna talk shit about stuff I don't even know. But really, I just, I don't wanna eat yet. I like to eat late afternoon, 12, one, that's early afternoon. But sometime in the afternoon, I'll eat my one meal for the day. It's out at a restaurant. I'm on the restaurant cleanse. The one meal a day diet restaurant cleanse. It's very healthy. It's very healthy. I found a new all you can eat vegan buffet. Somebody told me about it, so I'm gonna try it today. It better be good. It better be open. So many times you guys tell me about some place and it's closed down like 15 years ago. I ride my bike seven miles out into the desert. Almost get killed by a leopard. Thanks. So I'm feeling good, I'm feeling strong. We'll do a little physique update because I definitely lost some muscle in the beginning ever since I went raw and all this fruit shit. My, bo my body's just been stripping itself down. So I have a picture of what I think is my glory days. This was at my peak. So I'm working my way back to that. And it shouldn't be too long because I'm close to the one-armed movement push-up that I was doing before. So once I get up to that, I should be roughly the same size as I was. So this is my body today after my workout. And I'll put my body last month just to show you, this is entirely one meal a day restaurant diet versus my fruit-based diet eating restaurant stuff. So you can definitely tell I put on some fat and some muscle, I believe, but definitely some fat around those love handles, the nipple area, in my face, but it's a healthy amount of fat. If you think I'm fat, you got issues, son. People call me fat. That's how messed up our world is. Like we all have to be this cut, perfectly chiseled rock body of stone it's like, it's not even desirable to me. I think men look better and women too with some body fat on you. So I'm not a huge fan of the 5% body fat look. It's a little too much, too drawn out. I mean, you have a little fat on you, your wrinkles disappear. Your body just looks healthier and more full. I, I like the look and I think it's a longevity practice to have a little fat on you. Not too much. You don't want to be 700 pounds like I was two years ago. People say I look like that guy. Shut up. <laughs> so today's episode was filmed in 4K. Did you notice a difference? 
It took so much longer to edit. That's all I know. Is it worth it? I don't know. I figured it's been a while since I've tried it. So that and my Sony cam footage of the workouts today was in 4K. Do you give a shit? Do you want me to keep doing it? If yes, post it down below. If no, thank you for saving me time. So I think we're done here. Thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Unbelievable. Thumbs down. If you wear a Dracula cape, just out and about. Now we know. Now we know. Okay, we're done here. Thanks for watching. Get yourself a I'm a Donkey Bitch shirt and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.